Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see how to fix Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 blood pressure not working. So without wasting your time, let's get started. So when you try to turn on blood pressure, when you try to measure your blood pressure and you will see an error that you are your blood pressure not working. So in today's video, we will cover all this, all these topics, how we can fix this. So first thing. First, you have ensured that you have a Samsung mobile with a latest version. Okay, with a latest software update. Like you will when you turn on blood pressure on your watch, they will ask you need a Samsung phone to use Samsung health monitor. Okay, so if you have a Samsung phone and with a newly version, then you can simply install a Samsung health app. You will see here when you open a Play Store. And then when you search Samsung health, I will show you here a Samsung health. So here you will find a app called Samsung health. So firstly, you have to ensure to download it. After that, once you download the app, the logo look like this. Okay. So after that, when you simple turn on your app on your watch then you will see here two options measure your blood pressure and measure your ecg okay after that you can simply turn on measure ecg to measure your e sorry turn on to measure blood pressure and then you can simply tap on measure blood pressure okay so if your blood pressure reading are still not working so you can simply try a another fi fix is check wrist position so ensure your watch is worn on the same wrist during calibration and measurement so the strap should be snug but not too tight okay also you can simple wear your watch at a you can simple leave some space like this you can simple place three fingers on your wrist and after that you can simple wear it because the correct readings are the watch measure here okay and the next step is calibration. So calibration is a crucial to accuracy reading. So the calibration every 28 days, you need to calibrate your watch every month. If you don't, the blood pressure feature will become inactive. So use a blood pressure monitor to calibrate. Use a traditional blood pressure monitor and then place the cut on the opposite arm from where you wear your watch. Okay. So now we see how we can follow the calibration process. So to you can simply open the Samsung health monitoring app and then you can simply follow the on screen instructions to input your blood pressure reading icon, the cuff monitor. Okay. So, and if you are still facing an issue, so it's sometimes the issue may be from a software end. So ensure both your watch and smartphone have the latest software update. So software can lead to functionality issue. So you can simply open the settings and then go to software update. And here you can simply tap on download and install. And then you will see. Now they ask for to connect a Wi-Fi network or connect your phone Bluetooth using. Okay. Then you can simply go to quick access and then turn on the Wi-Fi. So you, they will ask simple firstly turn off the power saving mode because in power saving mode some features are turns off. Okay, then you can again tap on download and install. Wait. And then after you will see that your watch is checking for update. So if your watch is up to date, then you can simple check that your mobile phone is also up to date. Okay, so if both the device are upgraded, so it means the issue is from a another end. So in this case, you can simple firstly do a simple restart. Okay. So a simple restart can sometimes resolve many issues. Right now you will see my watch is up to date. Okay. So to simple restart, you can simple press and hold the power and bottom key together until you see a Samsung logo on your screen. Okay. After that, once you see a Samsung logo, it will take two to three minutes to restart your watch. Okay. So a simple restart is not resolved your issue 
so the issue may be from any software its software end so in this case you can simple consider a resetting your watch so before resetting you can simple backup your data before okay to back to reset you can simple open the settings and then go to general here scroll down until you find reset logo reset button and then tap on it here they will also be sure to reset all mobile plans if you don't want them available after reset okay so you can simple read them and then click on next and then they will ask for a final confirmation and then you can simple tap on reset button to reset your watch okay and then you can simple reconnect it and then you will see that your issue is resolved so if not so in this case you can simple contact a samsung customer care for further assistant they will provide you some important details to fix your issue okay so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial goodbye